I thought that was really neat too. Yeah, me too. I mean, okay, cool. So all this here? Yeah, yeah. Do we unpack some of it? Um, yeah, we'll just Is that type of clothes? Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool, cool. Let's do, um, about... Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So my old buddy Clay and his wife Carrie down at Bay 7 Vintage recently had their very last public sale at their current location. Sadly, I was not able to make it, but they're letting me come down for like kind of one final shop through to see if I can make another big pile of stuff and get it out of there for them because they're just pretty much in clean out mode at this point. They're not going away, just their current warehouse is, is going to be no more. So I'm excited to go down there and uh, just try to find a, a big old pile of, of awesome vintage stuff. So let's go see what we can find. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? Going on? Good. How's it going? How you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for letting me come down. Awesome. Yeah, we had a big sale Saturday, so... Was it a good day? Yeah, it was pretty was good. It? Awesome. It was a little surprising, actually. Yeah. I was kind of thinking it would be slower since it's our last one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's awesome now. Yeah, feel free to make yourself at home, man. Awesome. I'll be here pretty much all day, so. Okay. Don't feel like you're overstaying your welcome, like you said. Awesome. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Maybe I'll get some artwork this time.
We have all these old figures. I think this is for mask actually, so that's a definite pickup. It's a shame about the battery compartment, but it might be cleanable. Looks like it might be missing the door. But yeah, Kenner mask stuff is good. cleaning stuff that's pretty strange.
Yeah, yeah, go for it. Keeps coming. Well, I'm, I gotta be out of here in like 20 days, so yeah, that's crazy. Cleaning up the eBay listing room, and <laughs> none of this stuff is even listed. So, oh, really? <laughs> it's like stuff that's dying or something. I don't know. That happens, or never got listed right? All right, man, I think I'm ready for you. You ready, man? Yeah. Awesome. I thought that was really neat, too. Yeah, me too. I mean, okay, cool. So, all this here? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to unpack some of it? Um, yeah, we'll just uh, Is that type of clothes? Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool, cool. Let's do. Um, Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. And, um, I have some boxes we can use. Yeah, I've got some boxes. Okay. I'll grab real quick. Sure. I don't know what the market is for Oak Ridge Boys stuff, but uh, like, man. did you not try? I, I haven't. No. Okay. This. I mean. I got. Um, 
I got that whole tote full of Poker Boy stuff. Seriously, it was the whole tote was full. Yeah. And, um, I was going to do FTs with it, but uh, then we had a sale and people just started picking through it. Oh, uh, really? And I was like, well, well, I'll just let people pick, you know. Yeah, it's just so old and awesome. I don't know. And uh, yeah, people ended up buying it all, so I just didn't even worry about putting it on Etsy or anything. So did you grow up around Broad Ripple? Or? I grew up in Greenfield. Oh, okay. So then, you know, rebellious 20s, <laughs> moved to Broad Ripple. Yeah. And it just got too loud. Yeah, I lived, uh, me and my wife moved downtown during our 20s. We were going to. To Vermont and uh, Meridian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some cool apartments down there. Yeah. Yeah. Partied a lot in Broad Ripple, obviously. Yeah. Party spot. Oh shit. Uh, I used to DJ and I DJed a lot in Broad Ripple. Oh really? Yeah. My band used to play there all the time. Oh yeah? That's yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll start this stuff okay. Up. Oh, here's this for you. Oh yeah. Man, thank you. Go ahead, awesome, man. Take it easy. I really appreciate you. Yeah. All right, everyone. We're back here in the garage. Not much to say. Whenever I go see Clay, I know it's going to be awesome stuff at, at a pretty amazing price, and that's exactly what it was. Um, I would say this was quite the little vintage haul, uh, especially for 120 bucks. We have, we have what's in here and then all this stuff down here. So let's quickly try to go through some of it so you can get a bit of a closer look at some of this cool stuff. Here's an old Foreigner cardboard cutout. Just thought that was really neat. That'll look really great in the booth. Some different types of paperwork, some old comics and some coloring books. There's the Fallout guy. There's a Buster Brown coloring book. There's some weird KFC thing that was just looked old and neat. This old little pop-out toy right here, still new in the package. Thought this was really cool, this crazy old bowling score pad. There's, there's a ton left in there too. An old Celtics pennant, thought that had a pretty cool look to it. And this big tote of vintage clothing, uh, mostly concert stuff from the Oak Ridge Boys. Um, Oak Ridge Boys might not be the best vintage concert stuff to find, but I definitely wasn't gonna pass on it because this stuff is really cool. There's a couple old satin jackets. Where are they, size large? I mean, th those are just awesome to me. Then a ton of t-shirts, all that old nice single stitch stuff, a couple sweatshirts from the Oak Ridge Boys, a lot more t-shirts down there. There's an old jean jacket vest, there's a Harley shirt, just a bunch of old cool stuff with the tags you want to see. So that that's that's pretty exciting to me right there. Moving down here, finally picked up this awesome Globetrotters light fixture thing. I've noticed it several times when I've been there, but... I finally grabbed it this time, and I'm glad I did, because this, this thing is really cool. This is pretty heavy, so it'll probably be an antique booth item, but I think it's really neat. Got this cool statue here. I can't I can't remember if this is uh, one of the Laurel and Hardy guys or one of the Abbott and Costello guys, but it's one or the other, but that's really cool, too. It's really heavy, so I'm sure that'll be a booth item as well. Got some artwork this time. I just got this for Sarah. I don't think it's anything special. I did Google Lens it, but I can't remember what this is a print of, but Sarah really liked it, so she's excited to hang that up somewhere. Here's like an old Burger Chef playset. All the stuff's still in there. Thought that was really neat because it's it's not even used yet, and it's, it's super big and it's super old, so I'll have to figure out exactly what to do with that. I don't want it to get torn up in the booth, but I'm sure I'll figure out something. Got this Johnny Walker frame image right here, mainly to match my tattoo because I used to be a big fan of Johnny Walker. But that's just really cool too. That'll look cool out here in the garage somewhere. Got a whole bunch of these old TV interference filter things still new in the package. Not really sure what these are worth on their own, but there was a bunch of them and they were new old stock, so I just grabbed them all. There's probably eight or ten of them in here. And then an old push-pull switch right there. Some cool little tapestries like this dog banner thing that'll be pretty cool on the side i think an old electric cigarette lighter that's pretty good right there i'm scared to test it but but there we have it uh some old surgical tools down there this old whack-a-mole game there's an old mother navel tapestry thing some more cool vintage prints and framed art these are all small enough to ship i think so they'll either go on the wall of the booth or i'll put them on the website or something like that we'll see but i just think they're all pretty neat looking oh, there's a couple more that one and this one's probably my favorite, actually, right here. The little boy playing the trumpet. Pretty cool. And then coming over here, I thought these were really neat. These are old sealed Hallmark invitations, probably from the 80s. This is a scratch and sniff pizza party set right here. 
And it looks like Marilyn Monroe party invitations. And then some old barbecue invitations. In invitations. There's some Rustler new old stock vintage mom jeans. Pretty cool. As well as some new old stock Dickies work pants, size 4828. This cool dish full of medals. These are all like Indiana music medals, but those would those will lot up nicely with other things like that. And the dish is pretty cool too. This new old stock finesse by Verdi carry-on travel bag. Really cool shape. I just kind of like this. I don't I don't really know what it's worth, but I just thought it was kind of neat. The last time I was there, I got a big box of this stuff here. It's the Great Courses uh, DVDs and books. This time I noticed there was more, so I just grabbed the rest of it. A lot of this stuff has some pretty good sales history, so I'll match up all the books with the DVDs. Some are still brand new, but they should sell pretty well, either lotted or just like individual courses. And then down in this box, there's like some new old stock work shirts right there. This IQ panel, still new in the box. It's like a security system thing. I think the IQ panel two is uh, where the money's at, but I mean, this this being new old stock, I'm sure it'll bring something. There's some more of those filter things. An old baseball mitt. I'll grab some cool old manuals and magazines, like these uh, Sony stereo quarter manuals. There's a couple of those. There's some John Deere stuff. And then a bunch of old American Rifleman magazines right here. So those will go in a lot somewhere. And Wisconsin air-cooled heavy-duty engines. Just a cool old stack of paperwork and magazines. And then I grabbed this box full of vintage, like, cuff links and tie tacks and stuff like that. Um, I found a lot of matches already, so, so those should be fun to uh, pair up and sell off. And then a bunch of old toys and action figures. Nothing in great shape, but it's still fun to buy this kind of stuff. A couple mask vehicles. And there's the snake oil from mask. And some wrestling figures like Jesse Ventura and the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, some stuff I haven't identified yet. It's a lot of a lot of old Kenner Batman stuff in here. There's the penguin. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff like that. There's a cool old clock, micro cassette, and then some uh, vintage gun cleaning supplies down here too, like some oil and stuff like that. So that should lot up well too. Yeah, it's definitely. Definitely a bunch of cool stuff that now I need to organize, get it separated. I'll probably put a bunch of this stuff on froggyflips.com just, just to give viewers first dibs. And I'll take a bunch to the booth, and then after a couple weeks, I'll see what needs to be done. But yeah, that's that's my plan for now. So yeah, I'm pretty sad to see Bay 7 go away in its current form, but I'm definitely excited to see exactly what they do next. And, uh, you know, I'll follow them wherever they go because you can't beat this type of stuff at these type of prices. But that's basically all I got for you this time, guys. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe. Stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching And they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm Buying this crap